testing flare um, basically flare mode activates at 50 feet um, you have to have a very decent approach in um, and when you hit the 50 marker at least try and hold um, the pitch you cross the 50 marker um, at so if you arrived at the 50 marker at maybe say 2 pitch try and maintain 2 pitch all the way until 30 feet because um, that's what the system for flare mode will use to start flaring the plane with the Trimble Horizontal Stabilizer um, and what it will do is it will set the plane to a nose down altitude of minus 2 degrees in 8 seconds um, and you're basically going to have in that time because by the time from 30 feet to um, from 30 feet to the ground basically I must say that it's 8 seconds so within that time you need to flare and touch the ground before of course the trim beats you um, so that you avoid the hard landing so I'm about to try and get here now um, not the best approach of course um, and so far as I can get at least anyway the correction um, I might land pretty slow in but what you want to do here is you want to minimum carefully maintain your 100 pitch. above you'd want to arrest 100 that um, you arrest your pitch now and your vertical speed 50 so my 50 I'm going to maintain 40 at least at 2.9 30 and here we go 20 okay and there we go that's a pretty easy landing then it wasn't too much effort and the gear is down of course planes down very lightly done so the planes of course is now on the ground um, and that's pretty much it. That was literally it when flaring. Um, I'm down now. I'm gonna f also, um, in the same way, um, possibly, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna attach the, um, ground mode call out on the reverser as well um, so that it also trims the trimmer in ground mode completely back to zero because I think uh, it's minus 38 it's minus 38 it should it should move to zero though so um, I'm gonna get the reverser to do that for me it's now doing it now um, I'm going to get the reverser to also call it to do that for me. That's pretty much it. So the rule of key is when you're coming in, maintain the pitch you arrived at 50 degrees at, at least where possible, um, until you get to 30. When you feel the plane start trimming down itself, this is where you start acting to try and arrest the vertical speed. Um, I would advise looking at tips on the FS Lab A320 landings so you can learn from them how to land with the flare mode type system. Um, there's techniques where they say look at the end of the runaway, um, etc. etc. Um, it's best for you to look at those because you won't get a good flare on this plane um, if you're trying to overdo the flare if you have a terrible approach, if you've pitched down way too much before 30 feet. On the Airbus planes, all the pilots, most of the pilots, the ones that are successful usually pitch up around 30 feet um, for a flare to try and arrest the speed. Some even they are like 20. Do not think that you can float this plane um, anymore because what you'll do is you'll just arrest yourself and the plane will come down unwantedly for you um, into the ground so as long as that bell is making a noise that's a, 
after eight seconds you basically have to put the plane on the ground um, and that's pretty much it it should end up with you getting a smooth touchdown and a relatively smooth front touchdown um, which is controlled by you until the trim of course cuts you out um, and you really want to get that nose down as well um, there's many articles online that does say why you don't want to hold the nose of the aircraft up when you touch down and that's simply because when ground mode comes on that back pressure you have on the elevator when the trim starts reducing back again will drop that nose unless you drop the nose gently so that yourself of course you have the A330 which has a, a some A330s have a certain logic um, <laughs> it's actually a malfunction with the ground trim um, where it doesn't actually like you saw here at one point um, it doesn't trim back the plane to zero so if you've seen the smoothest A330 landing that's an example of where the ground foot mode failed because they are able to keep that nose for long um, it won't be in that for most cases especially the A350 if anyone's playing A350 um, the real world pilots say themselves it's not it's maybe different from the A330 um, you can't hold it up for that long and it's just because the trim of the horizontal stabilizer won't allow it anyway that's the video um, I'm gonna be doing a few minor changes um, not much changes, minor uh, tweaks so that ground mode tries to put the trimmer back to zero efficiently um, I'm probably going to add the, p the two protections because why not um, and think about it, I'll probably try and put one at least or two um, then rewire things, make sure the autopilot is still working, make sure the your damper is still working um, and then make sure the uh, systems are still working try and find any minor bugs and then releases definitely this week uh, for the A350 and that's the saga of the A350 pretty much done and the Airbus area version of the kit pretty much done um, until Boeing so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye